it is a beautiful day in Kigali and we have an even more beautiful house to show you. A lot of you guys, I, as we know, are already very convinced about the idea of living in Rwanda, of buying a property here. So if you're not yet, this property behind us is for sale and it will hopefully change your mind about owning a house in Rwanda. So let me tell you a bit about the house as we're walking towards it. It has four bedrooms, all of those en suite. It sits on a plot of roughly 1,500 square meters and was built in uh, three years ago. So that is 2020. And it really represents a unique opportunity to own a modern house on a big plot of land in one of the most thought after places of the city. Why is it so sought after? It's local, uh, it's, it's close to all the local places that you need to be. And you have this absolutely stunning view. So in the middle is Kigali Heights. On the side, you have um, the stadium. So you overlook all of Neotrama, Kachiru. It's the view, I mean, the view in itself is a million dollar view. Uh, the price of the house is of course a little less. So, uh, no need to, to worry about it yet. So, but let's start from the beginning. You enter the house on this side. There's a gate, parking for about five cars, six cars. I think that's what it says officially. I think you can actually squeeze in quite a lot more. And as you come up the stairs, you're welcomed in this outdoor living area. So you have a high table, perfect for either entertaining or for uh, gathering your family around for dinner while enjoying the view. And it's of course connected to the main living room. So welcome to the inside of the house. This villa really has been designed with a lot of attention to detail, as you can see. And also uh, it was not uh, built with uh, being very tight on a budget. So for example, these tiles 60 by uh, 120, they're very unique. They, you know, they add a lot of value to the house, they add a lot of design and I mean, as, as, as you would expect, they're a little more expensive than the usual tiles that uh, people use. So the, the theme of the house, as you can tell probably, it's gray and white and wood. Gray, white and wood is the modern theme uh, that a lot of houses uh, follow. I believe this house in particular has done a very good job at combining them. So you have the dark gray on the floor, you have a lighter gray on the couches. And by the way, I don't think I said it, this house is for sale fully furnished. So you, if you buy it, you can move in the next day and this is exactly what you get. So gray's picked up here, then a lighter, a very dark gray anthracid uh, on the lamp. So it kind of continues the theme and the wooden part of the building starts here. You have this amazing, really stunningly beautiful log table, side credenza. Uh, you have the matte black legs. Those are steel and then this treated wood on top. I think it really warms up the room quite a lot, especially in combination with the painting that picks up the lights again, uh, the, the colors. Talking about lights though, a suspended ceiling with indirect lighting and direct spotlights all around the house, uh, at least around the living area. And uh, then you come into the dining. Now the living and dining are technically one big open room. I'm saying technically because visually it's a bit broken up, which makes the, everything feel a little more cozy through this um, accent wall right here with the, the stones, which again pick up the colors from the painting and from the wood. So very nicely done. And talking about picking up the theme, if you look at this dining table, you see it is the same kind of wooden steel design as the, the sideboard when we walked in. And especially in, in combination with these flowers, I think it's, it really is, is a one of a kind. So the flowers you eventually need to replace, um, I think we can arrange if you buy one to get you the first flower delivery uh, included. But after that, you'll be responsible yourself. On the side, you have the, the wooden credenza, uh, which of course you have, uh, gives you a lot of space to store things. But also if you entertain people here, this is where you could put a little buffet, uh, put a, a, a tablecloth on top and put your uh, 
servings on there and people can serve themselves. Windows in this house are bo on both sides, which has not, which not only gives you a lot of natural light and makes it look very beautiful, but it also helps a lot with ventilation. So you can open on both sides. You constantly have a light breeze going through, meaning you don't need air conditioning, you don't need fans. And even on today, it's a very, very hot day. I have to say, uh, in here, it's, it's very pleasant. Going on, we have the kitchen. And the kitchen welcomes you with this breakfast bar on the side, or normal bar, depending. <laughs> it's definitely some sort of bar. Um, also can be used for, uh, for buffet servings, of course. But it, again, visually uh, separates the kitchen from the dining space. The kitchen itself is very generous. Uh, you have a five burner uh, stove with an oven in there. Of course, in an open floor plan like this one, you need um, the extraction fan, the air filter. You have the microwave, the fridge. And the same kitchen kind of mirrored uh, is outside. So let's have a very quick look. When you're here, basically when you cook stuff that takes a lot of time to cook or you fry meat or something and you have guests inside, then you can use the outside kitchen. Here it's fully equipped for a, for a stove and the oven and you keep all the, all the dirty business outside basically. Next to it is the pantry area. Uh, there's an ironing board here at the moment, but uh, there is actually a full uh, laundry room outside, a very generous one with ironing uh, place and um, what else do you have there? A dryer, washing machine, etc. There is quite a lot of space outside, as you can see, uh, staff quarters, storage rooms. Uh, as I said, the is 1,500 square meters big, so you have plenty of space. Before we show you the bedrooms, if you are watching this video and you like it, please uh, subscribe. It really helps us quite a bit. If you have any question, ask a comment. We reply to those. Uh, if you're interested, of course, send us an email. Uh, we'd be happy to, to give you all the information. Now, the master bedroom is on this side, the main bedroom. On this side, we have four, uh, three other bedrooms, one of which is locked, but it has the same layout as the other one um, on this side. So let's have a look at this. It has a, a nice bed. Uh, of course, the view, the same view as from the balcony, basically. Mosquito nets, aluminum windows. Uh, so high quality and all the rooms are en suite. So you have a bathroom here with a walk-in shower, toilet, uh, a nice thing with uh, uh, drawers and so on, and plenty of storage space. This house has a serious amount of storage space, especially in the main bedroom you'll see. You can have a lot of clothes if you live here. Bedroom number two is on the other side. It's slightly bigger. This is a king size bed for, for size reference. The bathroom is the same, walk-in, shower, toilet, and, and single, uh, single sink. And then outside in the corridor, they used the space quite neatly with um, sliding doors. So that provides a lot of storage space. We're not opening it because at the moment there are people living in here. And uh, so that's also where their private stuff is. That's why we do not show this room. It looks pretty much like the, the first one that we've seen. Now back, this is your way in the morning, basically, when you come from your bedroom to grab breakfast, this is how it feels. You go into this very light, open room, super nice feeling. Before we go to the main bedroom, um, this is a half bathroom, so your visitors can just very easily use this one. They don't have to go into any of the rooms. <coughs> and I think I did not overpromise when it comes to uh, wardrobe space. As you walk in into this, main bedroom suite, it's, it's really big. It's like, a, a, like it's individual apartment. You have a humongous walk-in closet. So his and hers, probably hers and his, judging by the size, uh, and the, the commode over there. Again, natural light, which is the theme throughout the entire house. And this generous bathroom, and it is actually a bathroom because it has a bathtub. 
uh, freestanding bathtub is something we really don't see a lot yet in Kigali. So I think very well designed the whole room with the wooden looking tiles, the gray one on top, the green plants, big rainfall walk-in shower, of course, as you would expect from a villa like this, and then the, the sink toilet. So indirect lighting behind the mirror, that's also something that we haven't seen so much yet. So for your orientation, the main bedroom is now again on the side, right next to the terrace, basically. And that means it has the same view. So firstly, in terms of size, it's one of the most generous uh, main bedrooms out there, king side bed, and you easily have a meter, meter and a half on each side, plus three meter to the, uh, to the end. There is a shelving here, which if you're, if you're a kind of person who likes a TV in the bedroom, this is an ideal place to put it. If you prefer a painting, you know, this is a very nice painting. I'm not sure this one comes with the house, but I think that could be up for negotiation with the owner. So assuming you have a busy job and you have a lot of kids and you're in the morning, you want your five minutes of peace while you have your first coffee. And before you face the realities of life, grab your cup of coffee and you have this private terrace. Behind this is the main terrace, but it's uh, uh, the view is blocked by the bamboo, so it's not as hard as a wall. Uh, that gives you this hard separation, but it's kind of uh, a soft separation. And then again, the garden. And now, if you follow me, you'll see we've come full circle through the house. We're back here at the entrance. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this video. The house is available for sale. We really hope it will change your mind about moving to Rwanda, about buying a house here. This is what you can actually do. The prices, as always, are in the link in the description. The reason why we don't say the prices here uh, in the video is because we can't change them after. So, um, yeah, sometimes prices change. And <clears> on <throat> the link, we can update that, not on here. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're still watching, haven't liked and subscribed yet, now would be a fantastic time to do so because we have much more videos coming up. We're going back to Kenya to film something and uh, yeah, continue to show you the best properties around here. So enjoy your day and watch more of our videos, please.